What's up, everybody? My name's Moose, and welcome to the Star Forge. What are we doing today? Well, I bought an Elegoo Neptune 4 Max a few weeks ago, and I've been absolutely loving it. I've even started looking at replacing my resin printer with maybe a Mars or a Saturn, and I was poking around on Elegoo's website the other day, and something caught my eye, which is that they have four different types of PLA 3D printing filament. They have a standard PLA, a PLA Pro, a PLA Plus, and a rapid PLA Plus. Now, normal PLA, you know, that's your bread and butter, your go-to. Uh, PLA Plus, that's usually a polymer with some other stuff in it that makes it, you know, stronger or more heat resistant. And from what I understand, rapid filaments typically have a lower softening point so that they melt easier and can be printed faster. And I was curious, because they're all roughly the same price. Um, they sell 10 kilogram bulk um, packages of filament on their website. And if you go the bulk route, they're all between 13 and $14 per kilogram. So since I have purchased um, one set of bulk filament, their normal PLA, and printed a ton of armor, which I will take some B-roll of and throw it up here for you guys, but it's been printing great. And I was curious what their other filaments print like. So I got one of each spool, one PLA, one PLA Pro, one PLA Plus, and one Rapid PLA Plus. And the way we're gonna test them, these guys. Um, I will put the, the link for this file below, but this is one of my favorite calibration prints. Um, it's not good for when you're first dialing your printer in, you know, because this, this takes like two-ish hours. Um, but once you, you think you got it, this is a good, like, put it to the test because it has overhangs, it has bridges, it has little details, it has gaps. Um, it's great. I love this test print. So we are going to print one of these with each of the four filaments, um, all in the same color, this gray color, and all with the same settings. Um, that way it's fair. Um, and you know, I'm not changing settings per filament. So we are printing, um, the hot end is 220C, the bed is 58C, we are printing at 225 millimeters a second. Um, the first layer I have at 40 millimeters a second. Um, normal fan curve um, on the Neptune 4 Max, stock nozzle, stock bed sheet, all that good stuff. So nothing changed. This is as fair a test as an unscientific person like me can make it and we will see which filament is most worth your money. So stay tuned to the end and let's get into the testing. So to start the test off, we're gonna start with their PLA Pro. Um, at first glance, this looks identical to their PLA. And I imagine all of them from the outside are going to look the exact same. Um, even, even with like TPU and stuff, when you're just looking at it, it's, it's a spool of filament. I mean, there's really not much to it. Um, the only thing I noticed different is the printing temperature, um, at least listed here, is slightly lower than the PLA. This is 180 to 210 C. Um, I believe their regular PLA, I'll have to double check, but I, I think it's a little bit higher than that. So I'm curious to see what this looks like out of the printer, and we will follow up with the print test. So next on the list is going to be their normal PLA. Um, I was correct, this prints from 205 to 230, so a little bit higher than the PLA Pro. Um, otherwise, again, spool of filament. This one, obviously, I've already used some of it, um, but it's, it's a spool of filament. When you open them up, the only thing different is this is all brown. The PLA Pro has some black on the cardboard, um, but that's it. They come in the same boxes. Um, they just have different stickers on them right here. They, they're all labeled which ones they are. Um, the tolerances are actually the same on the PLA and PLA Pro, and I, I'm imagining they're going to be the same on all of them. Um, it's 1.75 plus or minus 0.02, which is, is pretty standard, um, but sometimes they'll, they'll go to plus or minus 0.01. Not that I've ever noticed it make a difference, but I'm also not usually printing like super accurate or technical parts. Um, I'm printing helmets and, uh, you know, armor pieces. So if it's 0.02 off, I think I'll be okay. Um, but this one, I have bought a 10 kilogram pack and printed all of it. Um, I'll probably put some B-roll of my Helldiver armor, um, and it's been great. Um, so I'm curious what the print test will look like for this, but yeah, PLA, Elegoo Standard PLA. Alrighty, next on the list, we have Elegoo PLA Plus. Um, so we're back to all gray for the cardboard, not that it really matters. Um, print temp, uh, where is it? 
Print temp on here is the same as the normal PLA, so 205 to 230. Everything else is the same, so I'm not really sure what is supposed to be different from this over the regular PLA. Like I said, plus is usually some kind of polymer that makes it stronger or more heat resistant. Um, but we're going to see how it prints and uh, see if it's worth the extra. Now, last but not least, we come to the Rapid PLA Plus. Um, so with this, you get a little cool little design on the cardboard, wowzers. And uh, the print temp is slightly lower, 200 to 230 instead of the 205 with the normal PLA. And the this one, which is the only one that does this, tells you the printing speed, which it claims is 30 to 600 millimeters a second. Um, I don't know that there are many printers or well, commercial, like, hobbyist printers that can print that fast. I know there are industrial ones that definitely can. But um, apparently it can go up to 600, so that's pretty cool. And one thing I'll shout out that all of the spools have, and I think pretty much every brand of filament should be doing, um, is it has the markers for how many grams roughly are left on the spool. Um, this is awesome because it sucks when you have a spool and you're not really sure if you have enough for that next print. And so you have to risk, especially if you're like someone who starts to print and then goes to work, you have to risk um, the layers not um, adhering correctly and you have a weak point or you risk just running out of filament, you know, and now it's going to fail um, and you just wasted the, the rest of that spool, which sometimes, you know, it's not that big of a deal if, you, if it's a really tiny, tiny amount and you're just like, whatever. But regardless, it's, it's not that much work. Everybody should have this on their spools. It is so, so awesome. So the Rapid PLA Plus, this is supposedly the fastest printing one. Um, and we will see if this is worth your extra money. So with everything printed, what have we learned? Um, basically, they're all pretty, pretty close. Um, the one that does stand out to me is the Rapid PLA Plus. Um, I guess I'll just use like the, the Pro as an example. Um, and the big thing I was using to, to compare them was the small lettering. So like at the top here, this 10 millimeter, this is the Rapid PLA Plus, and this is the PLA Pro. It's not a huge difference, but especially like in the bridging test, the text in the bridging test um, you can just see is a little crisper on the PLA plus, um, the bridging, all of them did pretty, pretty similar in the bridging. Um, the PLA pro did slightly better or I'm sorry, not the bridging in the, the overhang test, the PLA pro did a little bit better, but all of them, I mean, were, were passable. This one had like a little hiccup here. Um, but like other, like the, the bridging was the same on all of them. It, it did great. The, the little um, vertical towers it did great on. Um, the accuracy over here it did great on. They all look really, really good. Um, and honestly, like none of these I think are bad prints. I'd be happy with all of these. But the Rapid PLA Plus just had that little bit of um, accuracy on the, the small text that was near the bridging test and near the overhang test. And the other thing, which you it's, it's kind of hard to tell on camera, a lot of them came out a very similar color, um, but they were almost like um, like a, a yellowish gray, whereas the Rapid PLA came out like a almost like a, like a steel gray. I don't know how well that shows up on camera, but they the the standard Pro and Plus were all it almost it. I'm trying to figure out how to describe it. Like they they were gray. It was a good color, but there was just like this little yellow tinge, whereas. The Rapid was like a steely blue gray almost. And I personally think that it looks a little bit better. Um, in terms of like layer lines or, you know, like extrusion issues, none of them had anything like that. Like there's no, there's not really any ghosting differences between them. Um, I think the Rapid also oh, had a little bit less stringing issues, um, mostly between the towers over here. The other ones, and not even a ton, but like there was a, a decent amount of stringing between them. The standard actually had less than the Pro and the Plus, and then the Rapid just had a little bit less. So, in my opinion, Elegoo, their best filament, most worth your money, 
is the Rapid PLA Plus, um, which is good. <laughs> I just bought 10 kilograms of that, so I was kind of hoping that would be the case. Um, and now I am safe and feel confident in my decision. Um, I think it's if you buy the 10 kilogram pack, it is I think 13 ish dollars a kilogram. And for the quality of this prints, it is amazing. Um, I actually just printed um, part of a Helldiver uh, weapon, the Liberator, in the, the same PLA plus, or rapid PLA filament. And it's great. It got all little details, all little skulls and all that stuff. It nailed that. So um, it is a great filament for what you pay for it. Now, if you're wanting to, um, you know, do any kind of, like super structural stuff. Obviously this is not what that's meant for. Um, I think this is more meant for prototyping. So small, quick prints that you just want to crank out really fast. Um, but I found, um, even just today that it sands pretty well. Um, I have printed a hell diver helmet in it and I was sanding and getting all that ready for paint and it sands really well. Um, I don't know how it would sand compared to, um, who is it? I think I think Polymaker has their, their cause PLA, which is like meant for sanding. So maybe that would be better. I don't know. I've never used it. Um, and from what I've read, it, it seems like it might be a little gimmicky. But I do know that their standard, Elegoo's standard and Rapid PLA Plus, both sand very, very well. This helmet is printed out of their standard PLA. And it sanded perfectly fine when I was getting it ready. So um, I'm curious... What filaments do you guys use? What have you found is the best for your day-to-day -day use? What's the most fun one you've printed? I'm always curious because I want to try and print, you know, new filaments or just like prettier filaments, whatever it may be. So go ahead and leave a comment on what your favorite filament is. I appreciate you guys sticking around for this whole test. Let me know what you think, what you want to see next, and have a good day.